Hi, I'm Ryan from Foxtech, and today we're going to talk about how long emails stay on your iPad. This is an important topic if you rely on your iPad for managing emails and want to ensure that your messages are accessible when you need them. Let's break it down. Emails generally stay on your iPad indefinitely as long as your email account is active and connected. This means that as long as your iPad is linked to your email service and you haven't manually deleted any messages, your emails should remain accessible. However, the exact duration and availability can depend on the settings of your email account and the email provider you're using. If your email account is set up as an IMAP account, your emails are synced with the server. This means that as long as the emails exist on the server, they'll stay accessible on your iPad. Deleting an email on one device, like your iPad, will also delete it from the server and any other devices connected to that account. On the other hand, if you're using a POP account, emails are downloaded to your iPad and can be stored locally. The retention of these emails depends on your settings. You might have them set to delete from the server after downloading, or they might remain on the server depending on how you've configured your account. It's worth noting that if they're removed from the server, your iPad may be the only place where they're stored, depending on your settings. Additionally, the storage settings on your iPad and the amount of available space can influence how many emails are stored locally. If your iPad is running low on storage, it may prioritize more recent emails, or you might need to manage your storage to ensure that older emails remain accessible. To manage how long emails stay on your iPad, you can adjust the email retention settings directly in the Mail app. Simply go to Settings, then Mail, and select Accounts. From there, you can customize how your email is stored and managed, ensuring it fits your needs. Thanks for watching this quick guide on email storage on your iPad. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more practical tech tips. See you later.